JavaScript offers dynamic control over every aspect of a web page, and that includes being able to add and remove objects on the fly. Based on a user's input or some sort of page event, you can remove list elements and options on the fly. Once you know how to do it, the possibilities are pretty amazing. So in this video, I'll explain how to remove list elements from a web page using JavaScript. Okay, so I've got a page here that's got a button that says Add to List, and what we're doing is on clicking this button, we're going to run the JavaScript function Add to List, and you can see it right here in the head section. Uh, there's the JavaScript function uh, right here, Add to List. Now, what happens is the value called List Item is going to be incremented every time and just choose a new item. So in one case, it'll be planes, then trains, then automobiles, then boats. I'll go ahead and take out that line that's not really supposed to be there. Uh, and what will happen effectively here is that we'll uh, go ahead and choose those four items and then use create element, create text node, and append child to add information to that empty list that's right here. We haven't created it yet. Let's go ahead and put that in. We need to create an ID so we can programmatically access it uh, from JavaScript make sure we use the right name. Okay, there's the name right there, transportation. You can see that when I highlight that, uh, Web Matrix is telling us that that also is spelled correctly. That's great. Let's go ahead and save that, refresh, and then we'll just start adding items. Now, every time we get to the fifth item, it'll reset back to the first. Now, I'll go ahead and reset that because what we want to do here is we want to add a button that's going to, on click, actually remove uh, an element. So on click equals. I've already got a shell uh, script here, function called remove from list. So I'll start typing remove, and there it is. And make sure we have our opening closing uh, parentheses there. And then close that just like this. Now we're going to put in some text for the button. and save that. Make sure that it's showing up okay. Okay, great. There it is. Now, here in the function is where we actually put the information that's going to be removed. And it's really two lines. So it looks like this. Var, we're going to create a variable. We'll call it list, so we'll make it up. Document dot get element by ID. Uh, and then the ID in this case is list. And it's called transportation. So all we're doing is just filling in uh, the uh, in the list variable, the actual list itself. And we're going to go ahead and create another line, and now we're saying list, that's the variable we just created in the previous line, remove child, there it is right there, capital C, and then in parentheses, list, okay, again, the variable that we just created, child nodes, capital N, and now what we do is use an index value. So we put a value in here, and because we know we have four different items, we've got planes, trains, automobiles, and boats, okay, it's got to be a value between one and four, but it's actually zero and three because it always starts at zero. So if we use zero, that will reference the very first item in the list. I'll go ahead and put a semicolon in there. So we've used that index to remove child, so we're taking that out of the child node in the list uh, variable that we created. I'll go ahead and refresh that or save it and refresh. Now I have to add some items to the list first, but you can see there we go. I'm adding four items. And as I remove, it'll take that very first item out, okay, until we're done and we've got no more items left. Now let's go ahead and maybe change that. Change that that uh, index number to three and save it because now what we'll do is, and I had to refresh that, make sure to save and refresh, add to list, add to list. So boats would be the last one. Let's add another one, planes. If I remove from list now, okay, you see that it's going to take the third element out, okay, it took the last one out, and then we sort of get stopped right there. So it's not really helping us, but what we want to do is make sure that in this case that we use that zero element in that way when I add to the list and then remove. It'll take out the first element, but it will remove each one at a time because there is only one element left in the list at the very end.